Hey, what's up? Um, it's good, man. Shit. Good evening, everybody. That shit, it's like one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Check this out. Hey, this joint going out to um this dude um no landing music. Um, son, I guess you're gonna be my beta tester. All right. All right. First off, this is FL Studio. When you open it up, this is what you're gonna see. I just want you to. I just want to show you the tracks. I'm not touching the mouse at all. Um, that's the master channel. You can see what's all on, loaded on the master. I'll explain all that in a minute. Um, each track has an EQ compressor on it. That's the FPC. All the channels mapped to the mixer. That's a resample channel. That's a old Ableton um, Ableton Live um, workflow thing. I got a completely dedicated sampler channel. Like you could just sample this shit's like having an MPC 2000 on one just just one channel. All right, and then I got a Nexus, like a map Nexus. Um, here go my sins. This is what I'm working on now. No, as a matter of fact, I lied. This is machine mapped in the FL Studio. All 16 outputs, and those are my returns. I'm just doing those now. All right? Okay. So everybody, now now you see what it look like in FL Studio. Uh, let's pop open some windows real quick. It's a plugins button. Now I'm doing all this from the hardware. Plugins button. Let's open up piano roll. The channel rack. The playlist. Uh, let's see. Close and open and close the mixer. Uh, let's go to a channel, any channel. Oh, shit, I ain't got no effects on that shit. Let's go to any channel, and if you hit on page four, I'm just gonna show you these real quick. And I'm gonna show you the screen. Page four is a button called effect slots, right? You hit effect slots, and what it does is it opens up everything on that channel. Now, if you want to to say work with just the EQ, right? You just close everything else close everything else the EQ is right there sorry I have to use the mouse here look at me apologize I'm having to use the mouse here's the crazy part about it I'm on jam I'm on the jam this is coming straight from the jam okay I'm doing this all from the jam now All my EQ movements and everything. Here's the crazy part about it. Now, usually when you do link controller, that's all mapped to um one controller. But if I go back, let's say if I go to any insert and mix an insert, boom, open the EQ. Let's close the mixer real quick. Let us close this move this EQ right here this is one EQ for the sampler this is one EQ for the FPC as you can see FPC slot 2 that's for the sampler okay now watch see controller frequencies oh there it is now you got one okay that's band 2 switch the focus band 2 Notice band 2 is moving, but it's not moving over here. But it's moving over there. You can control, open as many EQs. This one EQ mapping will control them all. Uh, compressor mappings will control them all. You know what I'm saying? A, it, it's all what's in focus. But it's one control for everything. I don't want that link, control, link to control shit. Alright, now. This is what you're going to see when you open the template. Alright. Okay, I got the studio set up in the middle as the main, it's the main, it's got all the controls, like literally everything, and if you can see, you go through multiple pages, a different shit, like that's functions, track center, that controls the channel racks, volumes, you got a master, mixer master, resample channels, volumes, I forgot what I used that send to for, mixer channels, you can name presets, open up preset slots, open up plugins. Um, this is your EQ bands, slope, frequency, and Q for all seven bands. 
all seven bands of the EQ. That's your quick compressor settings. Like if so, you don't come out of your comp out of your set and out of your page. You can just go slam to compressor settings real quick. All right, boom. This is the full compressor, like all the compressor settings. All right, these are the FPC pads, one to eight. That's the mutes for one to eight. That's um, the FPC pad volumes, nine to sixteen. That's the mutes for nine to sixteen. That's the pans for the pads one to eight. That's the solos for one to eight. That's the pans for nine to sixteen. That's the solos for nine to sixteen. Alright, this is tune. I ain't did anything with those yet. I'm, anything that's in there that's, that's not mapped, I'm just gonna turn it off. So you can map it yourself. That's the tunes. Okay, this is the sampler. Sampler page, period, bottom line. This is the reason why I even started this template. This is crazy. Just so this one page, just to have this one page because I didn't like the fact I had to use a mouse in Edison. And this is for your markers for like Slice X, um, Foodie Slicer, um, Edison. Okay, this is some edits with the cut, copy, paste, some jog wheels, scrub, all that good stuff. Um, this is, oh, this is Nexus. This is where I map Nexus inside of here. I started off with Nexus inside of here, even though all your VSTs and everything like that, your controls and everything, are going to be on the MK2. That's why I said the MK2 and the MK3 are going to be the exact same, because that's why I'm going to map them. I'm going to map the MK3 when I get it, same way as the MK2. Okay, so we got a couple of VSTs, virtual tape machine I got on here. Um, let's see. This is the limiter page, which I haven't done yet. This is my information page. This is Dr. Malaw, Sounds of Fan Productions. Okay, let me show you the functions. Okay, you know you got your regular functions right here. This is um your your functions that are up there. That's what's mapped right there. Regular transport. I haven't done anything with the edit section yet except for cut, copy, paste, undo, and delete notes. Navigate um, changes your um, focus. Pattern renames patterns as it stands. I haven't done anything with the input output section yet either. Right? Uh, my pad pages are going to be scales. I haven't done it yet though. So if you know how to do it or whatever like that, my beta tester, do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is gonna be a pad pages because I use them. O I used them over here already. Now here's the jam. Alright, the jam is set up like this. This is all your effect slots for tracks one through eight. One through eight. If you notice, on on here. Let's see. If you notice on here, on the mixer, those are white. Everything is color coded. So tracks one through eight are white. That's the reason why they here. And if you know in FL Studio, if you turn one on, it turns green. So that's the reason why I have it green. So you know anywhere anything is at, you know what's on. You know what's on, what's off. Off is white, on is green. Okay, next page is going to be FPC um effect slots. Okay? Now, I don't see why anybody would put 8 to 10 fucking effects on a drum machine slot. So what I did was I mapped 4. 4 effect slots. Uh, if that's not enough, use a bus. Use an auxiliary, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But 4 should be well more than enough. Okay. Then I have, this is the master, but I'm going to cut this down to 4. Maybe 4 or 5, because this is the master channel. And you don't need a whole bunch of shit on the master channel. This is for that sampler channel. Any effects you want to put on that sampler channel. And I forgot what the hell this was. I forgot what this was. I got to look in that control editor again. But they all mapped and everything. It's white. These ain't mapped yet. I just started the page the other night. And nothing's done yet. Jam. Okay, here's your pages for your group pages. Group 1 is your volumes for track 1 through 8. Group B your pans for one through eight. You know what I'm saying? Group C is your volumes for the pads in the FPC. Um, pads for the FPC. And these are EQ bands. I mean EQ um, gains. All these EQ gains. This is the master on EQ. 
and I haven't done anything with them three touch strip pages yet. Like I said, dude, it's like 85 to 90 percent done. All right. So anybody was asking about the template? Oh, another thing. I literally made this so that this is one complete control surface. Stop looking at them as if they are three separate units. Like literally, you will be on this right here doing most of your controls, but you can switch pages here, switch pages there. All your functions are gonna be perfectly, you know what I'm saying, perfectly right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, even though it doesn't have to be in focus, the controls still work. I haven't found out how to get the haptic feedback yet. You know what I'm saying? Like where's the fader on the screen updates to what the fader here is doing. If you move the fader on the screen, will this update? I'm still working on that right now, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, tablet temp cap is fully functional. You know what I'm saying? So here's what I'm gonna do. Since sampling is the first page. Is the reason why I did this template I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do a sample real quick I'm gonna do some sampling okay how about we go and close that close that close that let's go to channel rack and let's go to oh shit I gotta put this down put some let me see, it's control, control, plugins, control plugins, I, yeah, I ain't found a way without using the mouse, but, um, what you call it, let me see, we need an Edison, so, we go over, oh, shit, no, 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 come out of there, close this, go to the mixer, mixer track, I'm doing this all from the controller, no mouse whatsoever, Mix the channel, right? Open the effect slot with the chop shop. Open up the file menu. Press down, over, load sample. This right here is just my little test sample. I don't know what you're going to use for a sample. I don't have one. Um, except for this one right here. Do it. And you can actually tab over. I'm just gonna do it like this. Boom. And then hit do it. It's an MPC thing. If you know anything about MPCs, do it. It loads the wave. Now I can play it. See it's playing. Now I'm gonna go to the scrub page to the sampling page. I'm gonna scrub. That's scrubbing. If you notice it's still playing, scrub it. Okay, let's stop it. Okay, now what we're gonna do is I am going to okay with sampling see the scrub takes you to the place where you want to sample it and then you just hit start here sample start now you use the select knob which is right there the select knob to select the portion of the sample you want to chop and then you hit sample end sample in which is right there now you got two choices from this point right here you can hit zoom on selection then truncate or you can just hit truncate it doesn't make a difference right so right now I'm just gonna hit truncate because I just want to chop this piece out real quick and this video is getting kind of long chop that piece out there's your sample there's a sample right there boom now you can actually play the sample okay let me get it on loop Okay, loop and this is if you want to hit markers like this is machine 2.4.6 workflow check this out mark here mark here chopping the sample I'm literally chopping the sample mark here mark here I'm just putting in random chops boom 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 boom, boom. just really micro chopping the hell out of this thing ain't it okay so let's stop it it's on your chops right there and you can go from marker markers marker select there you go selecting markers this is a knob I'm not using the mouse I don't have my keyboard or anything hooked up right now so I'm not playing any sounds anything you know what I'm saying I'm not playing any sounds no nothing 
and that would pretty much do it all right so that's the template it's almost finished I got a few more VSTs I want to map I'm gonna try to map all of the native um, FL Studio VSTs that are common you know what I'm saying so you don't have to um, be floating all over the place all of your VSTs probably be on the uh, MK2 um, oh just in case you trick up while you're sampling and shit you can just hit reset you know what I'm saying um, what is that marker select? It's a marker select or anything. You know what I'm saying? Okay, boom. So, if you want to delete a marker, it's the normal shit. Boom. Hit mark here. Boom. It takes it away. Boom. Then you hit reset. Come back. Get your other marker. Whatever you want to do. Hit marker to mark here re twice. Reset. There it is. And that is the control editor template that people say, oh, you're bragging about it, you keep talking about No, this is the template. I just had to work on it to make sure it was all right. It's kind of like um, waiting for power. It's coming on June 25th. It's like a drug, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you know what I'm saying? I want to make sure it was right. Or for video gamers, like The Last of Us 2. You know what I'm saying? We we make sure that's a good-ass game. So, um, check us out. That's the template. And it'll be ready in a minute. Peace.